James Joyce, the legendary Irish author renowned for his complex narratives and pioneering literary techniques, had a wicked sense of humor. Surprisingly, he found his amusement not in the mundane or the slapstick, but in the brilliantly convoluted world of metafiction. The object of his laughter, Flan O'Brien's At Swim Two Birds. At Swim Two Birds is a novel that pushes the boundaries of fiction, blending reality and imagination in a way that is both thrilling and disorienting. Published in 1939, it is a masterpiece that employs a narrative technique known as metafiction, a form of storytelling that is self-aware of its fictionality. The novel is a tale within a tale within yet another tale. It follows an unnamed Irish literature student who simultaneously spins three different stories. The first introduces a devil-like character named Puka McFellamy. The second involves a fictional character, John Furisky, who is created by another character, Dermot Trellis. The third story adapts Irish legends, while the student's own life also unfolds. In a twist of narrative threads, all these stories intertwine. It's easy to see why Joyce, a master of intricate narratives himself, would find humor in this complex interplay of stories. At Swim Two Birds is a celebration of the fluid boundaries between author and character, reality and fiction. It is a novel that doesn't just tell a story, it explores the very act of storytelling. As the novel progresses, the characters conspire against their creator, Dermot Trellis. A rebellion forms in Trellis's own fictional hotel, leading to a trial and torture of Trellis himself. The student's story concludes with Trellis's maid burning the papers that sustain the existence of the fictional characters. This act of destruction symbolizes a completion, a return to the origin, a nod to the cyclical nature of storytelling. To summarize, At Swim Two Birds is more than just a novel. It's a labyrinth of stories, a metafictional exploration of the interaction between an author and his characters. It's a game of mirrors reflecting the creation and destruction of fictional worlds. And it is this literary playground that tickled the funny bone of none other than James Joyce. In essence, the connection between Joyce and At Swim Two Birds is a testament to the power of storytelling, the elasticity of narrative form, and the delightful surprises that can emerge when authors play with the conventions of their craft. So next time you pick up a book, remember this unexpected link between two of Ireland's literary giants. Perhaps like Joyce Wood, you'll find a hidden layer of humor in the twisting and turning of metafictional tales.